Hi, my name is Alyssa and I'm an American living in Rome, Italy. I wanted to make today's video because I remember my first time living here back in 2015. The very first time I went grocery shopping, I really had no idea how to do things and I thought this video might be helpful for you if you're moving to Italy or it's always just entertaining to see how other countries do their grocery shopping. So there are a few different major grocery stores in Italy and I'm sure they vary depending on which region you're in. So first on my list is Essalunga. I like this grocery store because it's really big and they often have really great deals and they also offer home delivery, which is super convenient these days. We order our groceries to be delivered all the time Time now just because it's so convenient. I'm just gonna say the names of these grocery stores in my American accent, but the other grocery stores are Carrefour, Conad, Pam, Co-op, Biopolis, Naturacy, and Lidl. We don't really have a Lidl near me in Rome, and I like shopping at Pam because again, it's a very large store. They have great deals on their produce. It's really cheap. It's also a very well-organized store, and we tend to get a lot of our produce from there. Biopolis and Naturacy are the more organic and natural stores, which are great, but I find them to be a little bit too expensive for my everyday grocery shopping. Co-op is another great store, but again, it's just a little bit more expensive. I like Carrefour because it has great deals on wine, but other than that, a lot of their things are mislabeled, where they say that they're on sale and you get to the cashier and they're actually not on sale, and other times there's no label at all, so you really have no idea how much money you're gonna be spending while you're grocery shopping, and that can be a little bit frustrating, so I've stopped shopping there for that reason. And Conad is a good store, it's okay. It's just a little bit more expensive than what I want to spend. I do shop there when I'm in a hurry because we have one right down the street from where I live. Okay, so let me walk you through one of these grocery stores. And in this case, I embarrassed myself in Pem for you by walking around with my camera to show you what it's like grocery shopping in Italy. So if you like this video and you find it helpful or entertaining, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe for more content about Rome and my life living abroad in Italy. All right, let's go. The first thing you're going to have to do is grab some kind of cart. If you're doing a large shop and want one of these carts, you will have to put a one euro coin in in order to take it out. And when you're finished, you just push this into the slot and you'll get your coin back. Or if you're doing a smaller shop, one of these free carts should do fine. Sometimes they can be squeaky though. <laughs> When buying produce in Italy, pay attention to this sign. You're going to have to remember that small number printed here because in Italy, you weigh your own food and print out the barcode to be scanned at checkout. In America, our clerks have these codes memorized and do it for you, so I didn't know how to do this my first time grocery shopping in Italy. Another thing to note is that Italians eat produce according to what's in season. Right now, it's fall and winter, so there are a lot of citrus fruits, nuts, and pumpkins. find the most delicious olives of your life, lots of fresh pastas, and most large supermarkets have these sections of different meats, cheeses, and bakeries. All you do is take a number if there's a line, wait your turn, and then tell the person working what you'd like. If you don't speak Italian yet, hand gestures and pointing usually do the trick. There's also usually large wine sections in supermarkets here, and you can find really excellent wine for very cheap. And one thing I like to look for is this dock label. It basically certifies where the wine comes from, and if it has this label, you know that you can trust that this wine is a good quality wine. Something to note 
is that eggs and milk can be shelf stable here. That surprised me my first time shopping. Like all supermarkets, there's of course things for the home and basically anything you think you would need. When you're checking out, don't be surprised if there's a long line, and sometimes another cashier will open up a new lane, but there is no order to who gets to go first. If you want it to be you, you just have to be assertive. The cashier will ask you if you need a bag, but you will have to pay for them. I always bring my own bags anyway, it's better for the environment. The cashier will put all of your things at the end of the lane where you will have to bag your own things, and sometimes this can stress me out because you have to bag up your things, pay, continue bagging all the while the next person is right there with their things and I just always end up feeling a little bit rushed and flustered at this point. Then you walk home with your groceries. I think most people go to the grocery store several times a week so that they only have to carry back a little at a time and that makes sense too. They have fresh produce on hand. But what can I say? I'm American and I'm used to doing a huge shop once a week, loading up the car and never leaving the house again. But this is generally what it's like grocery shopping in Italy. Aside from getting your groceries at the actual supermarket, there are so many wonderful local markets that you can go to and get some even better deals than you would find in the supermarket. You can talk to the locals and just get a more authentic Italian experience, in my opinion. Signora, i limoni, signora! There's a market in my neighborhood where we go to buy nuts and olives because they're nicer and cheaper than they are in the supermarket. So the open air markets are another great option for buying your groceries here in Italy. I hope that this video helps you or at least that you found it entertaining. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.